let's uh, let's just start with, with with Kyra and how I mean how, how tough is that to see a guy who is really kind of coming into his own, mm -hmm. just kind of go through that at this point in his career. I mean, yeah, obviously, you know, with any injury like that, uh, that's you know, you gonna be out for the rest of the year. It's tough on him as a young guy. And then, I mean, obviously, he was helping the team a lot uh, with his energy coming off of being scored. Um, and it's aggression, so uh, obviously we're gonna miss him. Guys got to step up and, and come to the plate. So uh, you know, always send my wishes to him, and you know, he 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 seemed like he was in good spirits. What what does that kind of do to a team in the moment? Uh, it, it seemed like that was one of those injuries that you knew right away. Mm -hmm. um, like, well, how, how does that affect you guys like in the in the moment when you're you're thinking about that when you're oh I gotta go finish this game? Yeah, I mean, I I kind of. When he fell, I kind of figured that, you know, it was something serious. You obviously wish it's not. So, I mean, you try to tell yourself, you know, hopefully he'll be all right. And, you know, you just want to try to focus and go back out there and play. But, you know, it's kind of in the back of your head. But As far as the uh, the turnovers against Denver, what did you feel like? Where did you feel like the issues occurred? Uh, I mean, just like what we've been saying all year, you know, we'd be shooting ourselves in the foot sometimes. Uh, things that are controllable. You know, like me, Billy, we just threw the ball out of bounds. Two, there's two turnovers where we could have had, you know, uh, a possession and, you know, potentially scored, um, and it would have been a different outcome. So, um, you know, just controlling what we can control, which is our turnovers. You know, obviously we're going to have some turnovers, but keep it to a minimum. You can't beat, you know, playoff teams like that or be, be put yourself in a position to win with 25-plus turnovers. Um, you guys, like, third quarter in Denver, you guys, you know, like, score with defense. Like, you guys have just had moments in games where the defense looks really, really good. It just seems like there's kind of, like, a, a goal. What is it just going to take to, I guess, be a little bit more consistent on, on that end of the floor? Or offense? Uh, defensively. Uh, I mean, I feel like we, we play really good team defense. You know, everybody's in position to help each other. Um, the game plans that coach, the coaches and them give us, we be – you know, we'd be locked in and doing it. Um, like I said, I think it's just those turnovers, you know. Uh, we play hard on defense. We're going to give it our all. Uh, but offensively, you know, we got to do, do a better job and give ourselves a chance. We always see her working on a shot after every practice and shoot around. Um, I think he had a career high in scoring again the other night against Denver. I mean, what have you seen from him in terms of his development with, with offense. It just seems like he's getting more comfortable all the yeah, time. Yeah, he's just getting more comfortable, more confident. Um, the ball started to go in. Uh, like you say, he's working on his jumper uh, every day. So um, you love to see it, you know. It's, it's, he's putting in the work and it's paying out for him. So um, just keep shooting it with confidence. That's what I tell him, you know, let it fly. Anytime you open, you got to shoot the ball so teams will respect it. And then it just opens up other things for him, driving and dunking and passing and, I mean, so. He had a nice dunk. He had a nice dunk over. Uh, over the Jokic, yeah, I seen it. It was top ten play. It was nice, it was real nice. <laughs> Speaking of letting it fly, three pointers have been working really well for you. You're trending upwards. Is that a point of emphasis? Is that's just what the defenses are giving you right now? What's working for me for you personally or yes. the team? You. Uh, no, nah, that's just what I just like to do. You know, shoot the ball. Coaches in there keep telling me I gotta be more aggressive. Um, trying to hunt shots. Uh, sometimes I get in a passive mode or, you know, I kind of get relaxed and not too aggressive. And uh, Coach Green had just talked to me about, you know, you know, trying to hunt more shots and, and looking to be more aggressive score. Love it. And with Kyra out, Sato is going to be running a lot of point for that second unit. What have you seen out of his game? Where's your confidence level in him for the bench? Uh, super confident in Sato. Sato, uh, you know, even when I was with the Hornets, I would just remember, you know, he was just, aggressive and, and he got to get back to that you know being aggressive looking to score um, just like I said so that teams respect you know your ability to score then it's going to open up you know the passing and all of that other things that he's good at so uh, like I said you just got to come in and be more more aggressive for us this is um, kind of off topic but you guys have a thing before that like after the starting lineups are announced where you guys have a routine where it looks like a mock fit or something out there. Uh -huh. How did that, where did that come about and who started that kind of? Uh, I don't even know. Um, honestly, we just be like play, play fighting, play brawling, fake punching each other. And then, you know, Najee, we kind of knock Najee out. And then, you know, we stump on him a little bit and then we just pick him up and he just started screaming. But 
this is a little hype to get us going for the game. I thought I, thought I saw that before the last game that somebody was on the floor and it looked like something like you guys were like pumping him yeah. back up or it's something. Like we was reviving him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> how did how did Najee get that role? Uh. Did he just fall first one day? Right. It's just, you know, every time it's like something new happens every game, you know. So it just you go with the flow. He he got knocked out and then we start doing the pumping thing and then we pick him up and throw him in the air. So we add something different to it every time. So we'll see what today brings. Thank you. Thank you.